Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. So in my last unboxing, I unboxed one of my favorite gaming console ever, the Mi U Mini Plus. So this is my first retro handheld, but when I ordered this one, I went and ordered this one from AliExpress because it was really, really cheap. The gaming console in here, I got it for $34 plus tax, it was like $38. Compared to the Mi U Mini, which was about $70, this is a pretty solid. So let's go ahead and unbox it. This is the R36S. Now this is one of the gaming consoles that I've seen on AliExpress which I wanted to test out because it says it can play PSP games so I wanted to test it out because I'm a big PSP fan. And it got the analogs, so I, I, you know, assume it's going to work a lot better than the Mi U Mini because you know the Mini doesn't have any analogs. So let's go ahead and see what comes in the box. So we open it up. We see a white covering. Let's go ahead and take out what we see. So we have the gaming console right here. In the box we have we have a charger, USB charger. We have wipes, we have a plastic screen protector, and we have the user manual. So taking off this foam plastic protective stuff, we see that we have the console here. So I wanted to get a white 36S, but I got a black one instead, and this is the Mew Mini. So let's just put them side by side. You can see that that one is a little bit longer, which I have all this in my hand right now, it feels a lot better than the mini in terms of heights but the mini feels good the button feels good the back button feels good this you know it looks cool and the analogs feel good so let's go ahead and take off this plastic off of the screen so here we have the r36s so we have the directional buttons we have the x a and y and b we have the fn button we have the start the select two analog sticks one on the right one on the left on the left side we have where you put the memory card we have the r button i don't know what that is maybe reset and then we have the power button on the right side we have the volume up and down and there is a little sticker over this right here i think this oh it's another memory card so we have two memory cards so this i think is the one with the games and this must be the one that has the OS on it. On the top, we have nothing. On the bottom, we have the headphone jacks, the DC in, and the OTG. So this can be trans uh, played on your, your uh, monitor, which is pretty good. The mini doesn't have that. On the back, we have R1, R2, L2, L1. In the middle, we have the speaker. So yeah, pretty much that's it. That's the overview of the external features of the R36S. Let's go ahead and boot it up. So we're gonna press the power button. All right, so we have it starting up right here. Let me get closer. So now we are in the main menu. It says we have some games available. So we're just gonna scroll through. So we have PSP games, PlayStation games, Neo Geo, GameSphere, Dreamcast, Mega Drive, Nintendo DS, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo. And if we go down, we have a good amount of stuff. This is pretty solid. I'm a big fan of the PSP games, so we're gonna test out the PSP games first. So it says we have 32 PSP games. Let's go ahead and load them up. So this is Naruto Ultimate Ninja Impact. We have Naruto Ninja Heroes. Let's try that one out. Oh, this is pretty cool guys. Naruto is working so good. Oh dude, this 